Hello YouTube and welcome to a little video about belts. I'm not going to talk too much about leather belts. Leather belts is a daily use, very functional, very fashionable, etc, etc, and also very traditional. The problem that I have with them is that the holes always tear and start to look messy if you're not a, a, anything other than a perfect physique, and I'm not a perfect physique. Then you have to consider that the, the backs always tend to, 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 to compress up and fold up, you know, much like this, this Velcro belt here has. And um, it just starts to look a little bit nasty and can be a bit uncomfortable. They're also not generally the most adjustable. So I went over to nylon belts. I started going over to nylon belts really when I was flying and, um, you know, uh, uh, commuting quite a lot through, through the, uh, the, 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 the TSA and CIA networks. And I started using belts like this that have a plastic buckle and a nylon strap and some of them are reasonably smart that condor one there is uh, is pretty decent i had that quite a long time that's uh, obviously a, a coyote brown uh, olive drab kind of color um, and i have a black one which uh, is missing in action at the moment probably borrowed by one of the lodges and the benefit of those is uh, uh, airport security, uh, and unless they're particularly strict or a particularly high state of uh, uh, emergency, then then it's, it's normally perfectly fine to go through because they're non-metallic, they don't show up. Uh, there's a slight change in density, and obviously the scanners work on density rather than just metal. So uh, uh, so, so they're generally okay. Um, in those situations, you know, I will, I will use a Velcro belt, and then uh, when I get to my destination, I will slip on a more normal belt. So, I looked into EDC carry belts. There's, there's quite a lot of talk out there. Uh, there's some new innovative designs with the Cobra buckle and things like that, which are very, very tactical and look very, very tactical. And really all they are is a Fastex type buckle made out of metal with, with, with levers instead of buttons. So, you know, the principle's broadly the same. Uh, I've never found the Fastex buckles very good. You know, one slight crack and they're absolutely knackered. And I have had that problem where I've got out of bed uh, in, in a hotel room, uh, dark in the middle of the night, having to get ready for, for a very early meeting. Stood on the belt buckle uh, where I chucked it after a few drinks the night before and crack. And then I've got no belt for the day and I'm literally, I'm putting the belt on just so it looks right and tying a couple of shoelaces together to create myself a belt. So it's a bit crude and these things don't always work very well. So what we have to think is, you know, what do we actually want? So I had a bit of a look at these EDC belts, as I said, and a couple of makes cropped up. The first was a, uh, a Kickstarter project called Carbon Tactics, which do some really lovely looking belts out in America. They do one that I was especially fond of, uh, the tie hook. Problem with the tie hook is, is they're quite expensive. Great quality, I'm sure. You know, I, I haven't ordered one because by the time we get them over here into the UK, you know, an $80 or $120 belt is straight away £120. Uh, then, then you've got the shipping, you've got uh, some additional taxes. So you're normally looking at about about 150 quid for a belt to go to the UK, which is quite excessive because you know we all need belts. We, you know, we very rarely just have one, and it's just just the costs can get a little bit silly for for something that really is just a piece of nylon and a piece of, a piece of carefully laser cut um, posh metal. So I had a look at some of the alternatives out there and a chap was doing a review on YouTube uh, who, who's very into, into Travax. And I'll try and put a link below if I can find the video again, but a lovely chap and a great channel. So I ordered a Travax belt and this here is the Travax belt. And what, what you get is the benefit is that the buckle is very, very slim. So when it actually lays up against you over the button on your trousers or, or wherever you put it, it's very, very thin. So this works beautifully as an office type belt for me. The actual material, as I'm pressing here, is very, very hard and very, very stiff. And I love that. That to me is, is, is a, brilliant, a brilliant piece of material because you don't get the compression at the back and the distortion when you're sitting around and moving around in and out of vehicles, in and out of your office chair, and uh, then, then you've got a nice straight stiff buckle for when you're walking to the meeting without a jacket when everything's nice and visible. So uh, obviously we don't have to worry about concealed carry and, and, and weapon systems in the UK, but it is nice to be able to hook something to your belt should you need to, or if you're going out in, in, into the woods for a walk, or even if you're over in the States or, or, or Canada and you do need to clip some, something in there that's, a, that's got a little bit of weight, uh, you know, even your phone. So I do like the stiffness of that belt. I've used that four or five times, and the only marks that have appeared on it so far are just here where it actually goes through the buckle. 
so that's absolutely fine. I was concerned that, that how they had done the joint here was going to cause a problem and I would have preferred to have seen a heat folded and joined back onto here with, with a normal um, X cross uh, box stitch. But um, you know what, what they have done is, is actually very functional, very useful and I've had no problems with it in, in actually several weeks of wear. Um, my favourite belt previously, funnily enough, was an old US Army style, Second World War type style, slide bolt belt. And, um, but that's now worn and is, is pretty junky. It compresses down to nothing, so there is no stiffness, but it pops right back up. So there's no permanent deformation after multiple years of use. All that's happened is, is that the core which, which, which the lock breaks on has, has started to wear, as you can see. So, so that really now is, is, is looking to be replaced. So what I wanted was something that was, was adjustable. Um, infinitely adjustable, much like the Trayvax belt, which I do like very much. And I'll try and do an in individual uh, review on that at some point. And so, while, while having a bit of a look for Cobra Buckle belts, because I thought, well, a Cobra Buckle, maybe that's going to be the next one, and I'll get one in to try it out. Uh, I found on um, Haney Hayes, uh, I'll put a link again below, that, uh, you know, 511 were doing, were doing some really nice belts, and I was quite tempted with those, and as I had those in my shopping cart, it came up with a "Have you thought about this type uh, type link?" And what came up were Hawk Rigger belts, and I thought, "Well, okay, it sounds a bit bit structural Rigger, um, but what we actually have is Hawk Rigger belts, and this is what they come folded on—a nice piece of plastic, nice and simple." Um, I've got a, a silver and black one and I've got a coyote tan black one in the end and they are basically um, a like, like the tie hook from Carbon Tactics but in stainless steel I like that the if I can get onto the camera here I like that this is actually in the form of the belt which I just noticed so this is just like a very large extended version of their belt buckle I don't know who came first um, Carbon Tactics company or or Hawk Rigger, but I am hugely impressed with Hawk Rigger, so do check them out on hawkrigger.com. And this here is the belt. This is how it comes. Small plastic bag, comes on the on the plastic that I just showed you. It adjusts, and then it literally just hooks. So I've been wearing a black one of these for a few days. Um, I have it adjusted slightly differently. So I have the loop, let me actually unwind this a little. So they show it here with the loop coming over the top and around the outside. But what I've done is I've actually done that the reverse way. So this loop is actually on the inside of the belt. So this is actually against you, which gives you a much neater feel. Doesn't really affect adjustability either. And uh, they're infinitely adjustable. They are the same thickness of material and the same material all the way around. The uh, locator here is, is, a, uh, is an elasticated piece, which is very good very very good I didn't realize that to start with but it is incredibly good and you've got a, a nice label on the inside there yeah, then it's large for a slightly chubbier of person uh, now I find large you know there, there's so much additional length there really I don't think you're going to going to have to worry too much you can be fairly fairly coarse with your measurements it just slides through it doesn't give you any issues um, and a large really I mean I'm I, I wear a a 36 38 waist trouser and I measure up at about 38 waist 37 something like that so when you see these uh, uh, the different reviews with uh, waist size pant size trouser size you know and all of those things and say order this one with this particular belt you can be fairly fairly lax in in the sizing that you go for because uh, there's just so much free free material and, and unless you're literally you know humongous around the waist then then you know a large would be absolutely plenty and you, you can pull it right down as well so um, I've got no issues there at all. Uh, I would have liked the the material around the back section, maybe, maybe perhaps around the uh, around the rear third of the belt. So if we look at the Trayvax belt, because that that sits there quite nicely for us, because uh, it's stiff. So if that was your belt done up, um, and this is at the front or to one side, I would have liked perhaps this rear portion to have a stiffer piece like the Trayvax belt. Um, the I don't know what the Carbon Tactics has. I don't know wh whether that gives us anything anything additional. Uh, and I, but I, I right at the moment, I don't plan on, on spending, you know, $120, uh, another another 30 or so dollars shipping to the UK, then 
uh, then uh, the taxes that they add on to that at about um, uh, the import duties were going to be about 20% and then, then uh, the, the actual tax on top of that which is 20% of the total amount so you, you know spending 150 200 pounds on a belt I just just you know I just don't see the point the uh, the Travax belt was 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 you know comparatively fairly cheap in in the US uh, when I ordered that I think it was around about thirty dollars something like that again I'll, I'll put a link to their website great great guys you know lo lovely emails to and fro when I was talking to them uh, but by the time it got here it cost me 70 quid so 70 pounds for a belt uh, I think is is silly I mean it's it's nothing nothing that flash it's a great belt but it's not flash uh, whereas these rigger belts are available obviously from the link below and they're about 18 pounds so uh, the buckle stainless steel uh, is very very well machined um, here it is actually on on my trousers that I've been wearing so just a cheap pair of stretch stretch jeans nothing nothing too flash but I don't wear jeans very often so I might as well have something comfortable and cheap and um, as you can see you know here here's the belt running around the inside stainless steel buckle no sharp edges very well machined little lasered logo and it sits very very nicely even over a jeans a jeans um, um, stud um, no form of of distortion on the back as yet uh, from from a, a, a good few uses so looking pretty decent very very happy with them obviously happy with the service of all the links that I provide and uh, you know I, I rate them all very highly if I don't rate them highly then I won't be putting a link so uh, you, you'll be able to draw your own conclusions from that and I hope you enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for the next next few videos that I'm going to do we're going to look at some trousers and some shirts and some more knives and some various other bits and pieces and some gadgets and then we'll get a little bit more into some EDC care and uh, some of my views on EDC so please subscribe thanks very much